Piezoelectric Accelerometer PV Series Selection Guide. This video will go over some basic points about accelerometers. These are the eight topics that will be covered. For further details, you can refer to the data sheets for the PV series. Number one, charge output type and integrated amplifier type. Charge output type accelerometers can connect to a vibration meter or charge amplifier. Sensitivity is expressed in charge sensitivity units, picocoulombs per meter per second squared. They have superior durability, resistance to shock and heat, and are relatively inexpensive. The connection cable has to be fairly short, ideally 5 meters or less. They can be connected to an analyzer and data recorder with a CCLD power supply using the VP40 charge converter. Integrated amplifier type accelerometers directly connect to an analyzer or data recorder equipped with a CCLD power supply. This is a compact measurement system. Sensitivity is expressed in voltage sensitivity units, millivolts per meter per second squared. The connection cable can be fairly long, ideally 30 meters or less. It can be connected to a vibration meter or charge amplifier with a CCLD power supply. Number two, the magnitude of measured vibration and sensitivity. Higher sensitivity settings produce more output at lower magnitudes of vibration. They are suitable for measuring micro vibrations rather than higher magnitudes of vibration. Conversely, lower sensitivity settings are suitable for measuring higher magnitudes of vibration. They are not suitable for measuring micro vibrations. Number three, measurement frequency range. Accelerometers with a lighter mass have a higher contact resonance frequency and so can measure higher frequencies. However, the lighter the mass, the lower the sensitivity. Therefore, they are not suitable for measuring micro vibrations. Number four, measurement frequency range depends on the mounting. Note that the upper limit of the measurement frequency range is lowered depending on the mounting method. The measurement frequency range listed in the data sheet is for the standard mounting method, stud or adhesive mounting. Although dual-sided tape allows for convenience installation, the upper frequency measurements limit is lowered. With rod attachment mounting, the upper frequency measurements limit is lowered further by up to several hundred hertz. Number five, mass. The mass of the accelerometer affects the vibration measurement. This is because of the change in vibration mode when the mass of the accelerometer is added to the vibrating object. When the mass of the vibrating object is 5 kilograms or more, any accelerometer can be used. When the mass of the vibrating object is 1 kilogram or less, a compact and lightweight accelerometer should be selected. ISO 2373 Vibration Severity Measuring Instruments mentions that the total binding mass of the accelerometer should be less than 1 50th of a machine's mass. Number six, temperature. Select an accelerometer that can be used within the permissible temperature range expected for the vibrating object and the ambient temperature. Pay special attention to high temperatures. Also, pay attention to the operating temperature range for cables and attachments. Since the charge output type is not equipped with an electric circuit, it has superior heat resistance. Number seven, thermal transient response. If considerable fluctuation is expected for the vibrating object and ambient temperature, select an accelerometer with low thermal transient response. Thermal transient response is the sharp change in output produced when the accelerometer temperature changes drastically. This effect does not occur when the temperature changes gradually. Number eight, simultaneous measurement in three directions. Cubes and cuboid shapes can have simultaneous measurements along three orthogonal vectors, x, y, z directions. This can be done with the charge output type or the integrated amplifier type, a vibration meter, 
A charge amplifier or an analyzer with three or more channels is necessary for simultaneous measurement. We hope you will find our piezoelectrical accelerometer useful and helpful.